Well, hey guys, what's this? See this stuff? Mmm, that's dirt. Which may not seem like a big deal to some of you, but for me, someone who lives in a major metropolitan city, I live in Taipei, Taiwan. Having a place like this, Da'an Park, where I can run with a soft surface is like so nice. And unfortunately, here in Taipei, this is the only place with a dirt, a soft dirt path to run on. Even more unfortunate is that the dirt path doesn't go all the way around in a circle. It's a horseshoe shape, so it goes like this. So what I do is I go up and around, and I stop where the trail ends, and then I go back. So I just go like this. I've been doing this for about two and a half years. I've run, I don't know, ballpark, 3,000 miles, who knows. Which might sound a little crazy, it might sound a little monotonous. Thankfully, I listen to lots of audiobooks, all the Harry Potters. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Like three times through, I listened to the first four books, Game of Thrones. She was the oldest of the serving wenches at the Quill and Tankard. 40 if she was a day, but still pretty in a fleshy sort of way. Pretty good, but I'm curious what crazy things you guys have done to find really good surfaces to run on. Because if, you, if you're like me and you live in a city, it can, just can be, it can be such a pain. And running on concrete now still all the time is just super bad for you. I say super bad. Editing Jake, future Jake. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, so right here is where you can put in like any sciencey information about surfaces and impact on your joints and stuff. Oh yeah, sure. So basically the research says that our kinematics, our mechanics will adapt to the surface that we're on and that actually the running surface hasn't really been proven to affect injury rates. It's more about like your mechanics and whether you like pronate in a certain way and stuff. I'll put the links below. But, um, you know, soft surfaces, they feel nice, right? So that's, yeah. Thanks, Future Jake. Appreciate it. Don't worry about it, man. You look good, by the way. Stop. So I just passed the second bend in the horseshoe, so now I'm right here, going up. Every day, they're just taking pictures of birds. I wonder if they get money for it or something. All right, so here, all right, so here's the end of the trail, right there. So I come here and then I jump through there and then I go up. So I go this little bit up here. Yeah, it's like 100 meters of concrete or tile, but if I do this little bit, then it's one mile almost exactly. And anything less just feels really, eh, it's just a pain to count and the laps and it's, you know. Okay, this is where I turn around. A lot of people here right now. So I come up and then I go back. I usually do three loops. I do it almost every day, at least three times a week, and I've been doing it for like two years, thousands of miles. It's past the point of monotonous, past the point of thinking I'm crazy. Now it's just, just totally normal for me. That's it, man. That's my running route. When I need soft services, this is what I do. I'm curious what crazy stuff you guys do to get like a nice soft running route in. Man, it, it might seem crazy to you guys for people who like live in the mountains or in your paths and stuff. This is a major city and everything's concrete and tie on asphalt. So having this here is like a freaking godsend. And man, like, I would, I mean, I would love to go to different places. I would love to have a different route. But what else? What else can I do? <laughs> you know, man, if I'm, and if I'm putting 80 miles down in a week or 100 miles down in a week, like, you gotta take what you can get, you know what I mean? Also, if you are one of the select few that live near a place with ample soft dirt paths, just, you better appreciate that, all right? Because there's guys like me out here who have nothing. <laughs> All right, that's all I got for today. Leave comments below, like, subscribe, and I appreciate you guys checking out the video, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. All right, see ya.